Look right there. And I bet you, I bet you a thousand dollars that we have a broken yellow wire right there and a broken tan wire. So there's your broken yellow wire you can see. Mm -hmm. And then one of these tans is the, is the intake air temp sensor ground. What these other circuits are for, I don't know. We didn't interrogate the rest of the system. I only went after the engine computer, but we'll fix them all. Uh, and before I forget, if you have a scan tool, maybe you have a minimum function scan tool and, and you can't read a data parameter for say the intake air temp sensor, what you can do is, you're reading minus 40, what you can do is short that sensor out, pull it all the way down to zero, clear your codes, reread them. Remember we had circuit high codes before, and what you can do is you can set circuit low codes when you ground it, and what does that tell you? If the code changes from high to low, and you read the code, it tells you that your circuit integrity is good, computer to that component. So that's chapter 10 material for you guys following along, signal circuit integrity testing. I cover this stuff extensively. And this is the foundational, fundamental information that we're talking about here that applies to everything. I just had a guy the other day who works on forklifts, same thing, same five volt reference circuits. Um, pretty cool stuff, universal. And uh, that's where we're at. This is, this is an easy catch and, and this, this sensor was replaced. Um, it did not need to be, I believe it was replaced by the customer. And uh, this is another example of why you wanna pay for diagnostic work. I mean, this, this will be cheaper than paying for a mass airflow sensor. Never needed one.